Good afternoon. Closing arguments are just about to wrap up in the murder trial of a Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputy accused of gunning down his partner. That means the case should be in the jury's hands this afternoon. Let's get to News 13's Madeline Schmidt. Yeah, well, Kim, prosecutors and the defense have been hammering home their versions of what Ty Chan did the night he shot and killed fellow deputy Jeremy Martin. The amount of force that, that uh, may have caused a bloody nose does not rise to the level of allowing defendant Chan to murder somebody by shooting him in the back five times. This morning, prosecutors told the jury this is clearly first degree murder. They described Ty Chan's injury, saying he only had a bloody nose. Prosecutors say Jeremy Martin punched Chan in the nose, and that's when Chan grabbed a gun and started shooting. After a night of drinking and arguing, it was October 2014 when Chan and Martin, both Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputies, were staying the night at the Hotel Encanto in Las Cruces after dropping off an inmate. The defense this morning told the jury this was self-defense, saying prosecutors are just making up any story they can about what happened that night. But they're asking you to buy into that fairy tale. And the problem with that, the problem with that is that it doesn't fit with what you saw with your own eyes and heard with your own ears. On Friday, Tai Chan took the stand. He choked up as he described why he had to shoot his partner, saying Jeremy Martin beat him with his own gun and shot at him first before he took it away and started firing at Martin. Of course, we do have a crew in Las Cruces, and when a verdict comes down, we'll let you know right away. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, Chan and witnesses who were out with the deputies earlier in the night claimed the two were fighting about jokes that they'd made to each other about a double murder case. If convicted of first-degree murder, Tai Chan faces life in prison.